All right. Well, you know that long weekend is fast approaching. And for many of us, we are excited. Yes. We are planning. <laughs> So Ben and AM, do you have any big plans for the long weekend? Yeah, I'm, heading out of town. Yeah, I'm going to uh, Las Vegas for a couple of days with my wife. Oh, nice. Yeah. So are you going to be heading on a plane? Yeah, oh, we're going to be on a plane. OK, and you're going to be driving? I'm driving. All right, so diff two different forms of traveling. So we all know in the midst of the busy summer travel season, and we all want to have a bit of fun, right? So we're going to take a look at some of the most common travel pet peeves and how to best deal with them. And we want to hear from you as well, because we know Canadians love to travel. When I mean we love to travel, I mean in 2016, 12 million Canadians took overseas trips, wow. okay? Canadians spend some of the most amount of money when traveling. Get this, over 30 five billion dollars we rank seventh in the world in wow. terms of how much we spend on travel cold. we got to get out of the cold <laughs> right <laughs> but the thing is that we love to travel overseas mm -hmm. not even really in our own country just canadians love to get out of the country and just see the world which is good it gives you experience but it also means you interact with a lot of different people many different people who might not do the best things while you're trying to travel so we want to take a look at some of your travel pet peeves yeah. uh, and we took a look at you know travel experts we looked at forums and we even talked with people in our own Your Morning office to mm -hmm. hear what they had to say. So one of the first ones was people who don't offer to pay for common expenses. Have you what ever had mean? to deal with this? So for example, if you're going on a shared group? vacation, yeah, let's yeah. say you're gonna go rent a cottage together, for example. Yeah. Uh, and some people don't offer, let's say, to pay for some of the groceries oh, or yeah, to yeah. pay the expense to rent the place or so forth. And it's left on just one person to do so. That's a big travel pet peeve we found sure. in our research. Well, yeah, you also never invite those people out again. Or you have a real honest conversation. They're your friends. Yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be very hard to have that conversation. Lay it all out ahead yeah. of time. That's a good advice. And I know, Ben, we were talking before. You have your own travel. Oh, campaigns. I got so many. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my top one. OK. <laughs> I, I, I hate being on a plane with somebody. If you're going on a beach vacation, yeah. I'm talking to the men out there. If you're going on to a beach vacation, don't dress like you're already there. OK. So That's your biggest pet peeve? Leave the flip flops and the sleeveless shirts in your bag. I don't want to see your underarm hair <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> That's for the beach. I cannot, uh, seriously. I'm so surprised that that's your number one pet peeve. Well, I'm sure, I'm, listen, I Armpit rotates. hair and bad toenails. Well, no, yeah, come on, man. That's the beach, that's the beach look. Okay. Well, speaking of the beach, you know a really uh, popular one in terms of travel pet peeves were pool chair hoggers. Yes. So you know when you go on a resort, okay? You wake up a little bit late because you had a late night, you're doing your thing, great, and then you want to get to the pool, you want to get to the beach, you want to get on that lounge yeah. chair, and they're all taken. No, yeah. I, no, I, I'm I, sorry, I, early bird gets the worm. If you want to... No, 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 that's not early bird. That's somebody who comes down and, 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 and plants a flag and then goes back to bed. Or they put their beach towel yeah. there. So what I do, when I go down there, you know what I do? I take that stuff and I move it <gasps> and I take the chair and when they come at me three hours later and say that was my chair, I'm saying, I'm sorry, you got to go talk to the, um, the managers around here they must have moved your towels. You're not allowed doing that here. Oh and so I um, I just took the empty chair. You escalate that. No, I don't escalate it. I, I, you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. So I just I just write the ship. OK. First come, first you serve, haven't come. Ben already. You haven't come. You dropped your stuff and left. Yeah, you had to come there to drop your stuff. Guess what I get? Squatter's rights. I'm in the chair. No, no. You're not. No, you get evicted for squatting. <laughs> No, I'm in the chair. All the right. difference between oh, you I and me is I'm in the chair. I would have that thrown down with you. You okay, see why I'm ahead. saying mm -hmm. pool chair hoggers is one of the most divisive topics in to terms to of you, travel pet Marie. peeves. You would love Drop to be your at stuff the beach. at midnight and come back at 10 in the morning. <laughs> I'm amazing okay. at the beach. Please. So hold on. Tell me then what happens if you were both on a plane together. Who would get the armrest? Because this is another big one. You're in the air. In a confined space, why am I crossing my legs? I'm not willing to make. <laughs> I'm not willing to escalate on a plane for an arm armrest. No, no armrest, I, I, armrest is nothing for me. That's not. A, so what if what if there's somebody's kicking your chair? Let's let's say it's a, it's a child and I the parents not doing anything. What do yeah. you do? Talk to the parent. Okay, so you guys have overcome those issues before. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to the parent. If the parent won't do something about it, then I'll talk to. Uh, I ring the you, bell. You do bell. the turn around and smile. Yeah. Yeah. And then you turn around. Okay. And if it keeps happening again. Then you look over at mom and dad, yeah. and you smile. And then if they don't do anything, you very nicely say, hey, sweetheart, you're kicking my chair. Oh. And then if they don't do anything still, then you say, I'm sorry, your son or daughter is kicking no, my I, chair. No, I'll go to the parent every time, and if that doesn't help, then I ring the call bell, and I get the person oh, who should be just, dealing with it. You don't it. just pick them up and move them out of their seats? <laughs> no, I'll get, the, I'll get the flight attendant to come deal with it, because that's part of their job, is they, they're supposed to know how to handle uh, situations like that. you wouldn't escort them off the plane, given that you the just move towels somebody else's willy child. off of people. Remove <laughs> towels. It's not your chair. If it were your house and your... But there's more and more there's more and more resorts where they actually will say you are not allowed doing that. Mm -hmm. You cannot you cannot reserve chairs, and I like that. 
Okay. You want to sit down, you want to sit at the beach, earn that spot. Get there when you need that chair. You know chair. how I earned that spot? I had three children, and I need to get there early so I get enough places kids. to put my... Exactly. But then wake up early because and get you to know the what? beach early. <laughs> Jess is probably running around looking for seats for all of you. I, I, I'm, I'm showing up with three kids, too. <laughs> I'm just getting there when I need the seats. Oh, we have no more time. Okay, what are your travel pet peeves, Canada? <laughs> Hit us up on social media right now.